you guys, we just came all the way to Chicago for the very first time. We are going to see Karen Calabrese. She is 75 years old, long-term vegan, mostly raw. She looks absolutely next level, freaking incredible. So we're going to get all her secrets and we're going to check out her restaurant here. This vlog is going to be amazing. It's going to be jam packed, you guys. And we're in beautiful Chicago for the first time ever. I actually wanted to start this vlog in Toronto, but you guys, I missed my freaking flight to Chicago. So my vlogger, my videographer came before me. I missed the flight, but I made it. I'm here meant to be. It all worked out. Welcome to my crib in Chicago. I rented this Airbnb. It is awesome. I want to give you guys a little tour. It has like beautiful. It just felt so Chicago to me when I saw it on Airbnb. So I had to show you guys, look at the beautiful windows and the stunning freaking view. I love Chicago. It's just got so much soul and so much life. And it's just such a good vibe here. Every city has their own vibe and I'm really digging it. It's awesome. This place has two bedrooms, high ceilings, the beautiful Chicago architecture, like I said, and my beautiful friend, Ashley, she's here and she does my glam, my hair and makeup. She's amazing. I'll link her down below if anybody wants to use her and lots of closet space. And there's one other bedroom as well. Kind of looks the same as this, but big, huge bathrooms. I'm so dedicated to juicing, that I actually, this weighs so much. I brought my juicer with me just because I'm a freaking powerhouse and I need my fresh juice. And I, this is a new juicer. I am so stoked. I got a new black Nama. So I'm going to do an unboxing video for you guys. So make sure you guys subscribe for that. It's going to be really awesome. Nama is my favorite juicer. It keeps me healthy, keeps me juicing. So I can't recommend it enough. I'll put a link down below. I'm going to show you guys a quick food haul of what I got traveling as a raw vegan in Chicago. I went to Trader Joe's last night and shout out Trader Joe's. It's so awesome. I wish we had that in Canada. We don't unfortunately, but I freaking love it. And it's a little bit cheaper than Whole Foods. That's why I like it. And it's its own vibe. It's good. But look at these, you guys. I got so many beautiful green figs aren't they great they're really soft that's why I have them in the fridge they're ready to eat so I'm gonna take them out and eat some of these today and I got tons of stuff for juicing I'm gonna make a mango pineapple jalapeno juice I'm gonna make some watermelon and mint juice I'm gonna make some cantaloupe juice which is so good just by itself and of course green juices those are my favorite they make you feel grounded electric alive and amazing and so full of life got some grapes and i got some cucumbers and guac my favorite snack if you know me now you know i love this so my plan is to juice and do smoothies through the day and also snack on things like cucumbers and guac and fruits and then do indulging at night so i can't wait to show you guys karen's restaurant we're gonna go apparently i think it's in the countryside and her restaurant is really well known really famous and it's cooked and raw food so we'll head there with you guys as well oh i want to show you guys i always travel with these as well my supplements i love supplementing as a raw vegan i'll put these down below if you guys want to code and digestive enzymes lou corona freaking amazing 72 he has the energy of an 18 year old and looks freaking fantastic so he's got me on these i take these with every meal now and they're just digestive enzymes they make your meals digest even better even the raw food because he says like our soils are more depleted now so even if we're eating super clean we can benefit from these and they've helped me a lot they're incredible so i'll link these down below as well look at this look how beautiful it is if you're from chicago tell me what this landmark is called because i don't know we are just walking around doing some exploring and it's absolutely beautiful Look at this. This is the first time I've seen her place. We're about 45 minutes from downtown Chicago and I'm so excited to meet her, listen to her advice. She's 77. She's been raw for, or she's been vegan for over 50 years and raw for, I think 40. And she has this new restaurant she just opened. And I think at her age, that's absolutely incredible. And that's what we should all aspire to be. So let's check out her restaurant, learn a little bit more about Karen. <music> Karen's kitchen with the beautiful Karen Calabrese herself. Look at you, you look amazing. Oh, thank you. I, you know, I always say what we do on the outside reflects how we're feeling and doing on the inside. So it's very important to me to look cute. No. You look cute. <laughs> she looks amazing. 77 and she just opened this new restaurant this past year. Yes. Yeah, in December. the outskirts of Chicago called Karen's Kitchen. Yes. And you had a lot of successful restaurants in the city too. I had, I actually, I had the second raw food restaurant in the entire country. I had the second vegan restaurant in Chicago. We're going back 40 years, 50, you know, 40 something years ago. Mm -hmm. So I've been doing it a while. Yeah, You'd wow. You'd think I would stop, right? I would say probably <laughs> the best. Doing the restaurants, the best of anybody vegan, I would say, like in the world. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, and you're amazing. We're gonna talk about so much today, okay. but I wanted to give you guys a little tour. I noticed this too, look. Karen has all kinds of hair products here oh, too. Have, I'm gonna buy these, they look amazing. I used to have a full line lotion. of makeup and everything and years ago. And her own toothpaste. <laughs> Do you have all this online too? Yeah, Okay, perfect. you can go to my website. So I'm gonna stock up and then look, I love these, you guys, look. She has these really cute tote bags. I'm gonna get some of these, they're great. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's here to shop, folks. I, I'm always <laughs> shopping, you guys. I'm not a minimalist. I'm sorry. But, Neither um, am I. Yes. Oh, I'm so glad you said <laughs> that. Amazing. God not. bless people who are, but that is so <laughs> not me. Me too. So yeah, some samplers, brownie, lemon cake, raw lasagna. Yeah, these are cooked. This is raw. Yeah, okay. I'm excited to try the raw lasagna. This was the raw restaurant. So how old were you here? Uh, what year is this? Oh, you were 59, right? It's 27, wow, 2007. 59? Look at you. <laughs> Stick with the raw folks. I swear <laughs> you look 21. That's crazy. And you've never had work done, right? Because I never know my had. viewers said, Karen looks good because she does plastic no, surgery. No, I don't know. If you look close enough, you can yeah, tell I, I haven't. I've done no Botox, no surgery, no fillers. But you're not you against it. It's just like I'm not totally not against it. I think people should do whatever they need to feel better. My whole purpose in doing this is I just want to show people there's another way. Mm -hmm. I want to be a living example. Like you have tons of examples of how beautiful people look with the fillers and the facelifts mm -hmm. and whatever. I just want to show that it can be done another way. Who knows, yeah. at 95, I maybe decided to do a little something. <laughs> you know, I, mean, I have more wrinkles in here than I'm 41. Okay, this is awesome. And the restaurants were really successful, right? Which is yes. great for this type of niche because you see so many out there that well, it must I, be hard, I think. But I did a lot. I, I didn't make it with the restaurant. I did classes. I, I taught. I, be, I teach every other month, and I have classes coming up. I want to talk about that when we do our yeah. blog because I have all, total online everything I've taught for 45 years. We're still doing them, but I'm doing a different form. So I'd love you to show everybody what else you yeah. have here. Well, I teach cooking classes here, cooking cooked and raw, and I have a YouTube channel and a, a lot of. I actually have almost all my recipes up from my cookbook uh, for free on um, my YouTube channel. And Parents the cookbook. Too. This side is raw. This side is cooked, so you get two in one. I love that. that. I know. Yeah. That's so, so smart. <laughs> and what I did here for the kitchen, I, I have it in my home too. This, there's actually, uh, maybe I'm not strong enough, there's a stove under here. There's a stove under here? Yeah, oh, so cool. this is like the raw part. Really? And the, oh, wow, that's so heavy. Because I haven't lifted it in that's a while so to cool. do a cooking so you, class. Oh, yes, there's a stove What under. a great use of it. So smart. Yeah. Like we talked about, I'm not a minimalist. I have stuff. No, yeah, <laughs> great. Me too. I love everything. Yeah. Your bowls are so beautiful. Look oh. at the bowls, you guys. Wow, I love them all. Where do you get your bowls? I've been collecting them forever. Of course, yeah. I'm They're a collection so nice. person. And what would you say is your favorite part about being vegan? Or raw? Like, you've been raw for a long time, too, right? Vegan? Yeah. Yeah. I think probably one of the best features is I always feel in control of myself. Mm. Yeah. I always feel, I, I, I know what to expect. Good point. I'm not living in fear. I was sitting out front today. Uh, I have fabulous neighbors out here. And the little boy, he uh, made me his uh, godmother. He says, will you be my godmother? Aww. And he loves me. And he's so sweet and so wonderful. And he came around, Karen, to hug me. And I was sitting with Fab, the woman I was telling you about. And he yeah. ran up. And he said, look. And he showed me his hand. And I hugged him and looked at it. And she said, no, get away from him. He's got that foot, mouth, and thing going on right now. Yeah. And it's uh, I'm not, and I've never seen it, never heard of it. Yeah. But I'm not worried You're about like, it. You're like, I'll never catch it. Yeah. But I'm not worried about yeah. it. That's what I'm saying. I don't worry. If something happens to me, I've created it. Yeah. Okay. Well, in our podcast, I want to talk more to you okay. about like not worrying, letting things go. And your secrets, your secrets to this energy, this youth. I love it. Thank You're you. You're such an inspiration. But I would love to show them too. Oh, that's your phone. Sorry. Huh. Next door you have. Yes, I have the wellness spa. Yeah. Here we are in Karen's spa, which is right next to the restaurant. So yes. I'll let you tell Just go out one door and come in the next. Yeah. And um, this was created. I, I had a spa in the city also. And this was created to help people on their detox journeys because that's what I started doing. That's how I started spreading the word was teaching detox mm -hmm. classes before anybody had heard of it. They thought detox was getting off drugs and alcohol, mm -hmm. you know. But I taught detox classes and so I created a spa because I uh, learned from Dr. Wigmore most of what I teach. And enemas and implants were important. Um, oxygen work. There was just so much more to just detoxing. So I created this space where while you're doing a detox, you can facilitate. We have reflexology machines. You can sit and wait on your feet while you're waiting for your therapy. So it's getting the body stimulated for the different therapies you're going to be. And we do something called a quick cleanse. Mm. And I put you in the infrared sauna for 15 minutes. It pulls the poisons out. And then I put you in the ozone chamber for 15 minutes. It neutralizes the poisons and kind of gets the yeast and stuff in balance in your body. And then I throw you in the hyperbaric chamber to oxygenate your body. 
and the next day you look and feel like you've been on vacation for a week. Wow. And I created that for me. <laughs> you guys have to come here. That's amazing. Yeah. It, it's, I, nobody else is doing that. I feel like that's mm -hmm. just next level, right? And you can do all the different therapies by themselves, but mm -hmm. that's just a real quick cleanse to come in if you got a special occasion to go to or something the next day. And you do colon, colonics We do too. colonics and... Um, we do uh, ear candling and facials and massage and um, all kinds of different massages. It's, it's, yeah, it's a place of comfort and for healing. And because we were talking before and you were saying, which I agree with too, there's so much more to health and feeling your best than just the, the food, Just right? food. I like to remind people food is a small part of it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to lead into the podcast right now. We're going to go back to the restaurant and do the podcast and have some food too. I can't wait to try the raw lasagna. And the podcast is just going to be next level amazing. Karen's video is actually the number two video on my whole channel, the podcast really? we did a couple years ago. So this one is just going to be number one next level. So subscribe, stay tuned for that. And come check out Karen's kitchen, her spa. Go online, check out her products, the shampoos. I'm going to stock up on everything. Follow me on Instagram and yeah. uh, YouTube and all of that too. I have all my recipes. Yeah, for sure. I'll oh, link everything down below yeah. for all your stuff. So I actually did, just did the podcast interview with Karen inside. It was next level, freaking amazing, fantastic. So subscribe, stay tuned. I will post that as the next video. So that will be coming up next. And I just bought some stuff inside. Look, I'm so excited. I got some of her shampoo and her conditioner. And I think she said it's available on her website. So I'll try link it below and her all natural miracle toothpaste and I'm so excited I'm gonna try some of this or original rejuvalac I've never had that before so I think it's like loaded with probiotics and all these amazing amazing goodness and I'm gonna have some of her raw broccoli soup check that out isn't it look so good so the soup is broccoli lemon juice olive oil almonds pink Himalayan salt and purified water she's amazing I just love her and look at this this is a raw lasagna and you guys i don't think i've actually ever had raw lasagna it always looks so good with the beautiful salad dressing karen is so nice she brought this out to give to my cameraman and my friend ashley and look at this pizza because they make not only raw stuff here i'm not gonna eat this but oh my gosh if i eat cooked food i would be all over this it smells so good it looks so good you make it for your husband you were saying right for 40 years this is what i said i've made up for my grandkids and no yeah, she was making this for her her husband. She's been making it for for 40 years. Wow, you guys. Next level, amazing. So head to Karen's Kitchen. And I got some of these totes, you guys. Aren't they cute? I'm a sucker for totes. You guys, I used to make my own too. I'm going to bring them back to the channel. But look at this. Aren't these beautiful? Are these on the website too? And these are on the website. Everything's on Karen's website. Go support her. She's amazing. She inspires people, changes the world. And stay tuned for the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.